Back on Inside Tennessee, this is one of our favorite programs of the year because we kick off 2022 looking into a crystal ball. What will happen in the political year ahead? We're at the national prediction level right now. And Don, let's stick with you on that one. Your national political winner of 2022 will be... Well, the same person that I may have picked for 2020, if I could find my notes, but in 2022, the new governor of the state of Georgia, Stacey Abrams, I believe she will be the national politician of the year and she's got a bright future. And I think seeing the trend in that state, she is my pick. Susan. Well, mine is going to be Representative Kevin McCarthy, who is the current minority leader in the U.S. House. I think Unless something really bizarre happens between now and next November, the Republicans are going to take back the House. They're, it only needs five seats to flip, and that's not much. And if we've seen the drop in the polls on the Biden-Harris administration. I mean, they've been bizarrely uh, just crazy how much they've dropped. Now, if the elections were held today, I'd feel really good about it. But sometimes things happen that are out of your control and things will change. But as of January 2022, I'm going to say Kevin McCarthy will be our next speaker. Don, how about your loser of 2022 at the national level? Despite Susan and I talking some before this show, we really didn't talk about this. My loser is Kevin McCarthy. And it really <laughs> is twofold. One, I think if the Republicans do take the House, I think they cast him aside with this hard right freedom caucus. And, and uh, some of your, uh, uh, your, your idols there, Susan, like uh, 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 the woman from Georgia and the crazy one from Arizona and Louie Gohmert. Uh, I, I think actually the Republicans might not choose him as their leader. And I also think there's a clear path that the Democrats can hang on to the House. And I don't think Nancy Pelosi will be back. She's all but said that. But uh, I think, as you said, this election's a long way away. And there, there is one monumental event that I'll leave out there hanging that really could shift this back the Democrats' way and have them hold on to the House. So I think Kevin McCarthy's a loser either way it plays out. Susan, you're a loser. I've been waiting all day to say this. Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Don thinks she's always been the winner. I think she's been a loser. I feel like she's been the speaker for my entire life um, because we can't get rid of her. She just, you're going to have to drive a wooden stake through her heart, I think, to get her out of speaker. But I do feel really good right now, again, about about taking the house back we only have to flip those five seats and nothing will make me happier in fact i might even go to washington to see her voted out as speaker so she's my loser and i'm sticking to it you i seem issue to remember of... some orange guy that cried a lot named boehner i don't know why that comes to mind uh, so go your on. issue I'm sorry, of 2022 john. don what's going to dominate uh, the national headlines um i think the dominate it's going to really be uh the growing frustration with the lingering COVID virus. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be through this in 22. Uh, I think we're gonna probably see another variation, another mutation. People are really getting tired of this and I understand it, but it's, it's gonna be one of those things that we're gonna have to find a better way to live with. Susan? Well, I'm concerned that the national issue could very well turn into the Roe v. Wade abortion issues. The Supreme Court, as we've seen in the past year, took up some of these abortion issues, the Texas case, talking about the Mississippi case. But I think they, they're going to look at Roe v. Wade in July, next this coming year, in July 22. If that happens, were they to overturn Roe v. Wade? I think it would be the the biggest issue we may have had in this country in a very long time. Um, women would come out in mass numbers to vote uh, in November, which could, in fact, destroy any chance the Republicans would have of taking back the House and the Senate. So that issue could very well be the big one uh, and could change everything. Don, do you agree with that? I do, actually. And, and Susan sort of gave away my little secret. I think that that is if that happens, uh, that all but assures that the House remains with the Democrats. I already believe the Senate uh, will likely go to the, the stay with the Democrats and maybe even pick up a seat. But uh, that is a monumental issue on a bunch of levels politically. 
Chief Justice John Roberts, one of his biggest concerns is that the court will see, be seen as a political body. Is, is that already happened, Don, in your opinion, as a lawyer? It has, unfortunately. This is the most politicized I have seen the Supreme Court in my adult life. Uh, it really, uh, and really the Kavanaugh hearings pushed it over, uh, over the edge. It's just very clear that uh, the Supreme Court with the last two picks, I, I wouldn't put Gorsuch in there, even though that was a Trump pick, uh, although I disagree with some of his rulings. I think he was a competent, uh, a typical Republican pick, but with, with pushing uh, Amy, Bar Amy Barrett Comey through, uh, pushing Kavanaugh through, who Trump almost withdrew, uh, I, I think it really is politicized. And when Roberts is your fulcrum, uh, it, it's, um, it's a very different place right now. We will lead off with your uh, political prediction of the overall winners and losers in 2022, Susan, when we come back.